with our aim of spreading safety awareness. Batak Pinoy, loud and proud, brings you Safety, safety Talk. Safety Talk. It's a weekly live segment hosted by Kabayan Rico. Safety, safety Talk. Safety Talk. Providing additional knowledge in the field of health and safety with competent guests giving insights to build a hazard-free workplace. Safety, safety Talk. Safety Talk. From Batak Pinoy, loud and proud. Hosted by Kabayan Rico. Rico, Rico. In line with our aim of supporting the safety awareness campaign of most companies, we created this segment, Safety Talk. We want to instill in the minds of those who are working, especially in the field of health and safety, that accidents can be prevented as long as we always have presence of mind and focus while working in our respective workplaces. And tonight, maganda ang pag-uusapan natin because bawat isa sa atin ay siguro nag-complain in the past why we're not re- really feeling good every time we work. Kasi minsan yung mga machines natin, yung equipment natin, minsan yung tables natin, minsan yung computers natin are not properly in place. Wala sa tamang distance, wala sa tamang lugar, kaya medyo nahihirapan tayo. And tonight, we are going to discuss what we call workplace ergonomics. At napakaswerte natin. Because in spite of the fact that this guy is very busy, nako, sa wakas, nahuli din natin. And uh, he will share with us insights on workplace ergonomics. Let's watch this video to know him better. Our guest tonight is a father to a three loving daughters and a husband to a beautiful wife. He studied BSc in commerce major in business management. He started his career in health and safety when he took Bosch in the Philippines. He used to work in Qatar and United Arab Emirates with various industries from petrochemical, power plant, infrastructure, airport and seaport, construction, before joining real estate HSE from international companies like Johnson Controls, General Electric, and now working with Shell as HSE specialist of the Middle East and North Africa region. He completed his IGC and currently pursuing DeVos Diploma. He attended trainings on safety leadership, human scale, office, workplace, and industrial ergonomics, road transport, pillar assessor, and many more. To discuss on workplace ergonomics, let's welcome Jonathan Nicholas. Ayan, sa wakas, mga kasama na natin ang... Uh, nako, malaki ang sahod nito. Kaya nga, <laughs> hindi na ito nangangailangan ng talent fee pag imbitahin natin. Sa laki ba ng sahod? Alam mo, Shell. Nako, malaking kumpanya yan. So, let's welcome Jonathan Nicholas. Pan, magandang gabi dyan. Good evening, sir. Kamusta po? Ah, eh, okay medyo pumayat na tayo ngayon. <laughs> Oo. Uh, alam mo, ikaw, tumaba ka eh. Kasi may side effect kasi yung uh, pag malaki na ang sahod, no? Nako, yan ang uh, disadvantage. Pag malaki yung sahod mo, kain ba lang uh, kain? bumibigat yung timbang? <laughs> Sana nga, sir, yung... malaki. Sana nga, sir, malaki sa batiin sahod. Mo na yung, batiin mo yung mga nanonood sa atin ngayon. Good evening po sa inyong lahat sa mga nanonood po. Uh, welcome po sa uh, ano natin ngayon, sa, show, uh, sa event ngayon ni, ano, ni Sir Rico. Oh, alam mo marami tayong mga safety practitioners and HSE practitioners na nag-aabang kasi importante talaga sa trabaho natin itong workplace ergonomics, di ba? Kasi pag uh, hindi properly align yung paglagay ng mga equipment natin at machine, ay magkukumpleto tayo na sasakit yung uh, yung shoulder natin, yung baywang natin. Maraming complain kaya We need to really introduce this properly para alam ng mga uh, dapat talaga yung uh, ergonomics sa uh, sa planning pa lang ng construction ng building no at saka offices dapat uh, kasali talaga yung safety sa planning. 
Kaya ang ang problema kasi eh ando na ang building eh. <laughs> Kaya wala na, wala na tayong nasabi niyan. Um pag-usapan natin ngayon, teka babatiin ko muna yung mga kaibigan natin na nanood saan mang panig ng mundo. Uh, may mga safety practitioners tayo na palaging kasama natin sa Kuwait, sa Bahrain, sa Qatar at sa Pilipinas kasi ngayon gabi na pero bukas ng umaga papanoorin nila ito kasi makikita ko yung mga messages na we have a lot of safety practitioners from the Philippines who are always with us on a weekly basis. Tan, ano ba itong uh, tinatawag na workplace ergonomics? Ano ba itong ergonomics? So, uh, before uh, 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 mentioning ko yung uh, meaning ng workplace ergonomics, uh, nasabi mo nga kanina yung history ng ergonomics na napaka-importante niya. Pero ito yung isa sa mga pinaka-underrated, hindi nakikita ng management to. At wala silang pakilam. Kasi nga, nasabi mo nga, you, you mentioned earlier that uh, the building is existing already and how can we now uh, alter it or um, uh, update it or pro- provide something uh, to ano, to the workers uh, to comply with the ergonomics. So that is when uh, the money talks. So yun yung pinaka, uh, kaya yung ergonomics napaka underrated niya. Pero very few companies, maybe in some construction, uh, ergonomics is something that, as you mentioned, nasa design pa lang, nasa planning pa lang ng yahar kaya ng, ng empleyado, ng worker, nandun na ang ergonomics. So, very few. I'm very lucky then sa company namin ganun. Uh, in, I did experience it in my previous previous company, which is uh, General Electric. Meron kami isang area doon sa office namin na uh, workstation na pwede mong pagpilian. Pag nahar ka, pupunta ka doon, titingnan mo kung anong uh, equipment ang kailangan mo sa table, sa chair, sa monitor, mamimili ka kung ano yung suitable sa'yo, which is very expensive. At masasabi, yun lang sasabihin ko lang, napaka-expensive niya. Pero yun ang right way of doing ergonomics. But there are still chances na pwede natin gawin yung ergonomic. Pag nakapasok na yung, kampa- na yung tao sa company, uh, binigyan ng equipment, hindi naman suitable, pwede natin ayusin. Pero hindi yun yung proactive way eh. Yun yung uh, based reactive your, way. <laughs> based on your statement, Tan, no? uh, uh, hmm. narinig ko kanina yung may nabanggit kay. Ano ba ang benefits ng ergonomics sa workplace? So, marami. Uh, ang benefits ng um, uh, ergonomics sa workplace is uh, yung stress mo less, more productivity ka. Kasi nga, hindi ka stress, so more productivity. So, you spend eight hours um, in the office, maybe three hours or five hours of chai, but with that few hours that you are working, very productive ka. Uh, less yung mga losses ng company din sa'yo, kasi nga, productive ka, less mistakes ang nagagawa mo. So, it, it, big returns yon sa company. Pero, syempre nga, as mentioned earlier, hindi siya nakikita, pero it's a, it's a big factor talaga. Tapos yung attendance ban ng tao, like, if I am uh, having this, let's say, may maya, pag-discuss natin yung carpal tunnel syndrome. Pag may carpal tunnel syndrome ka, mag apply ka ng leave mo, medical leave. So, pupunta ka sa hospital, check up ka. Yun yung less benefits ng, negative benefit ng, ano, ng uh, hindi ka nag-ergonomic. So, uh, better to be more proactive in ergonomics than uh, say sorry uh, in, uh, at the end of the day. Parang nga bang sinabi nila, sabi mo nga, Kari, kung dati pa, yung iceberg theory about, eto lang yung nakikita ng management, pero yung big chunk of the iceberg is, ano, uh, hindi nila nakikita, which is yun ang ergonomic. Um, uh... Kung halimbawa, Tan, uh, kukunin kang uh, isang, you'll be asked to be a consultant of a company. Tapos, anong suggestion mo, uh, who should be involved in the ergonomics process kung ikaw yung pakinggan ng kwan, management? So, I will start with, almost all the management team are need to be involved. From the top management, from, uh, let's say, the top management like the general manager or the CEO. But, more more likely ang included diyan syempre in HSE. Uh, pag HSE means health, safety and environment. So if nakahiwalay yung health, safety and health ang ilagay natin uh, para ma-involve sila kasi yung health factor din siya pero safety rin siya. Uh, at the same time yung mga let's say yung HR, yung HR natin mm. kasi sila yung sa workforce eh. 
So, kailangan maging involved din sila kung ano yung rights ng employer at employee. Um, para sa iyo, no? because you've been attending a lot of seminars and you are exposed to companies who are really implementing uh, workplace ergonomics. Ano ba yung mga uh, risk and symptoms of poor ergonomic practice? Okay. So, uh, 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 sa bago ko sagutin yan, uh, sorry ko, uh, balikan ko lang yung una mong tanong, yung ergonomics. What is ergonomics? Mm. So, pag nasa interview kayo, no, syempre, magandang pakinggan is... Uh, isa science yon <laughs> yun yung pinakamagandang pakinggan din eh. isa science concern at uh, uh, the fit or interaction between the the user and the equipment and ang priority natin is yung uh, uh, worker hindi yung equipment so if we prioritize the equipment than the worker and then we it's an ergonomic already okay so it's a science uh, with fit between the people and their work it puts uh, people first, uh, taking into account in their responsibilities and capabilities. Ha? Kasi we do have different uh, physic or physical um, uh, structure ng body natin. Uh, small, big, uh, little bit chubby or little bit thinner. So those are the some of the factors. And also our eyesight, smell, touch, skin, um, those things. So... Uh, Yung sa risk factor naman na nababanggit mo sa akin, uh, many uh, uh, risk factor needs to be considered uh, when you are spending time uh, sa work. Like for example, you've been working in a workstation or in your laptop for eight hours straight without rest. So that is something uh, not good. Uh, dapat you have an interval uh, rest uh, in between because yung strain ng eyes mo sa monitor, nag emits ng light sa eyes mo, it gives you eye strain and then dizziness and head, headache. So those are the things. And uh, yung forceful ng paggag... Di ba yung manual handling? So maybe na, na-discuss na ba dito sa show nyo yung manual handling? So in case um, na na-discuss ma- na, may correlation yan eh. Yung manual handling and ergonomics are correlated. So when you are doing manual handling, yung strain use or exertion ng uh, ng force mo sa pagbubuhat, pagpo-push, uh, pag pag yung physically not capable ka at pinilit mo, yun yung uh, mga risk factors na mangyayari. Uh, yun yung mga intense work na pwedeng i-consider as risk factor. And as including environment as well, kung mainit or malamig, tapos yung body mo hindi ka sanay sa mainit. Hindi, mm-hmm. hindi, hindi ka capable of uh, uh, adapting to that uh, climate. So, those are some some of the risk factors that we can consider. Uh, magpapatuloy tayo. Mintang, batiin natin yung mga nanonood sa atin. Tan. Uh, Dan Michael Dumpit is watching. Romy Pagaran Galientes, uh, Mayong Gabi. RJ Calupay Kero is also watching. Richard Lanusa and Kenneth Ken Pates is watching. DJ Hovita Osia from Saudi Arabia is watching. Kurt Sandoval, ang next daw si RJ Kalugay. Give me his number, Kurt, at uh, usapin ko siya to be a guest here. Uh, yung mga hindi nagparamdam pero marami tayong mga kaibigan na nanonood, especially those involved in the health and safety. And By the way, in case you, those who are not yet in the field of safety, if you want to venture into health and safety, this is the best option for you para alam nyo kung uh, paano ba talaga ang health and safety. So you can enroll in the course uh, Nibos, IGC, IOS Managing Safely, uh, they have IMS, Lead Auditor, OSHEC, you can call uh, Gretchen or Anthony. So ito yung tutulong sa inyo on how to start your career in health and safety. At saka, ba- Tan, batiin, ma- mamaya, babatiin mo yung taga PSSP, ha? Kasi marami <laughs> mga kaibigan nating nanonood uh, ang mga bago ngayon sa day-to-day alfahidi, meron silang Filipino food section. So kung mahilig kayo sa mga Filipino foods, uh, visit alfahidi brands of day-to-day at bukas mag yung Super Saber promo. Now back to Tan. Oh, bumati ka muna sa PSSP friends natin. So binabati ko lahat yung mga taga-PSSP, uh, especially Abu Dhabi. So kung taga-Dubai ka, eh, 
siguro nakita mo na ako, na-meet mo na ako uh, sa Dubai. Oh. Uh, I, I, just, nabanggit ko kanina sa Rico, si Sir Joel, nakauwi uh, na, nag-retire na rin yata siya. Ah, ganun ba? So, no, sana mag, mag, makapag-join siya sa one of the talks uh, that you're... No, he's about. supposed to join us. Uh, umuwi na pala. No? Umuwi siya, umuwi. No. Nag-message siya, eh, nag-message sa amin. Ah, okay. And now we will invite him to talk. Um, the, the problem there is we need to to start the show earlier kasi medyo gabi na sa Pilipinas. If we're, we're going to start uh, in the evening. We also would like to greet our friends from iSafe uh, who are watching us. Marami tayong mga ka-iSafe dyan. Uh, yung uh, Air Maps as well. Uh, yung isa pang uh, safety organization ni na Yuri at uh, ni um, may isa pang grupo. And uh, yung PSSG ni Senior Don Blanca. No? So, all the Filipino safety practitioners, we'd like to greet you all tonight. Maraming salamat po for joining. And please, share this video para makatulong po tayo sa mga kasama natin, lalo na yung mga baguhan in the field of health and safety. Ngayon, uh, Tan, um, yeah. what are the mitigation to have a good ergonomics? Ano, sir? Ulit? Ano ang uh, mga mitigation natin to have a good ergonomics? So, there's a lot of things. Uh, 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 nabanggit ko na yung iba kanina, no? mitigation mm. of a good ergonomics. So, uh, kung hindi tayo naging proactive uh, that we provide already the design of the equipment, as mentioned to you earlier, the, from my work experience in General Electric, uh, nandun na yung equipment na yung tao, ma-hire pa lang, nandun na yung equipment na mapagpipilian niya. So, kung walang ganon, don't I say active? For example, kung uh, if ever na na hire ako, for example, to the company and punta na ako sa office, may workstation ako, uh, may chair, uh, may work, uh, may monitor. So, ang mitigation yon is as 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 same as other uh, risk assessment. Uh, let's go to uh, Eric PD. So we eliminate. Uh, we substitute, we do uh, administrative controls and PPE and engineering controls. So with that, uh, obviously we cannot eliminate it now kasi nandun na siya. So it's really expensive. So we need to uh, uh, help the company as well to save some money. So what we need to do is to assess how we can support the, the employee that uh, we can fit the equipment to the person. So if in case that I am, ano, uh, for example, in my workstation, th- that is the reason why I use mobile phones because k- kailangan kong i-showcase sa inyo kung paano mag-set up ng workstation itself. Less theory, more uh, demonstration kasi ang, ano eh, ang work, work, uh, ergonomics, workplace ergonomics, workstation ergonomics. Uh, there, we start with the chair, uh, making sure that uh, the chair is properly fitted for you, it's uh, adjustable, and it has a back support. And uh, for the monitor, uh, make sure that it has a proper uh, uh, height level to your eyes and distance also from your uh, self when you position yourself to the workstation already. And the movement of your arms to your body, to the keyboard and mouse, and the lightings also. So those are some of the considerations that, that we can mitigate. Uh, if the light is very poor, we need to provide more lights to make sure that it has a balanced uh, ambience or lightings, illuminations in the workplace. Uh, if the if uh, we have a keyboard and mouse, which is a huge keyboard, an ergonomic na yun. So we need to select something which is much smaller keyboard so that yung mouse malapit din sa keyboard. So if if I may, uh, sir Rick. Eh, pwede bang mag-demonstrate ako ng konti? Oh, mag-demo ka nga. Mag-demo para makita nila. <laughs> you know, so, Tan, alam mo ba kung bakit kailangan ng demo? Kasi yung mga estudyante sa school, they're using laptop, di ba? Yes. And I don't think that the teachers are introducing ergonomics that early, like, like elementary, di ba? Paano yan? Y- yun, uh, oh, yun Kaya, ang isang, yung demo. Yun ang gusto kong tanungin kasi din sa mga viewers. Uh, pag ba laptop, autom- uh, automatic, an ergonomic na siya? Yes, ang sagot ay yes. When you're using a laptop, it's unergonomic. No matter how uh, beautiful your laptop is, it's unergonomic. Okay? Ang kailangan nyo, external keyboard, external mouse, yun lang. At height nyo lang yung laptop nyo para level sa mata nyo. But papakita ko sa inyo yung mamaya. Okay? I'm not the, the subject matter expert, but I have some experience about ergonomics. And I studied two 
two sessions of uh, human scale in America. So that is something that I I am proud of. That's somehow. more than enough for you to share uh, ergonomics <laughs> to a lot of viewers. And and also uh, I want to ask the viewers also that I just want to share to the viewers uh, when I was working uh, health and safety in construction, uh, I saw this one person. Ang trabaho lang niya is ergo assessor. Uh, I think he he is working in uh, Kinarps uh, 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 furniture. So he's earning about 15,000 dirham. Ergo assessor. Yun lang, lang ang trabaho niya. Oy, madugo kung, din yun. No? Kung ano yung, uh, kung ano yung de-demonstrate ko sa inyo, yun yung ginagawa niya. <laughs> so kung ako kayo, nasa health field of safety, nasa 6,000, 8,000, 10,000, try to uh, ano, uh, think of outside the box of health and safety. It's not only construction. It's not only petrochemical. Marami. Sobrang dami. Kaya naingit ako sa kanya. Kaya ako nag-aral. <laughs> Pero hindi rin ako naging ergo assessor. Pero I'm practicing it in real estate. So, uh, good thing. I, you, I, somehow I utilize it, uh, my learnings and knowledge sa, sa office namin. Okay. So, uh, ipa front camera ko lang para... Ah, sige, sige. Para makita nila. Makita nila. Isa-setup ko lang. Ha? Uh, yan. Yan. So here, so wag mo nang ano yung housekeeping ng aking desk pero <laughs> yun yung aking <laughs> workstation somehow. So here, uh, usually ang nag nagsisimula tayo sa sa chair, kasi ang chair disregard the table first ah, kasi mm. pag naging suit naging comfortable na kayo sa chair, uh, madali na natin ayusin yung table natin, okay? So ito yung chair ko. Wala siyang arm, ha? wala siyang armrest, pero preferred ko lang yun na walang armrest. Uh, majority of you might be uh, shouting already, screaming, ah, oh, we should have uh, an armrest. But that is my prefer preferred uh, setup of my chair. Walang armrest. Kasi, pero if, um, if you're going to suggest in the office, favorable ba ang may armrest? It really depends eh. Kasi ang nabanggit ko nga kanina, different physical uh, uh, body structure, different body structure, Kasi mm. minsan maliit, mahaba yung uh, elbows natin. So sometimes it uh, burdens us to approach the the table, the workstation itself. Okay. So we will use first, demonstrate first the chair. Uh, dapat ito yung pinaka-importante, maging fit ka muna sa chair. Once na naging fit ka sa chair, pag in-approach mo yung table, it's easier for us to uh, fix it. Ang problema ko lang ah kasi hindi ergonomic yung chair yung table ko so hindi siya adjustable it's fixed already it's the height is fixed so uh, I'll just demonstrate that if in case that it is adjustable as well so so chair first so itong chair ko uh, ergonomic din siya so meron siyang adjustable up and down uh, if you see here uh, it has a castor wheel five pieces so that's the best practice the minimum best practice is five castor wheel uh, yung castor wheel kasi, mayroon siyang gulong, di ba? Uh, pag dito, smooth tiles, it should be soft. They call it soft castor wheel. Kapag soft kasi, rubber siya. Kung rubber, kakapit siya sa uh, slippery surface. Kapag naman hard siya, plastic siya, it's good for carpet naman. Okay? So there are two differences of castor wheel. Uh, so here, if you see here, parang kotse rin to eh. Na-adjust yung uh, seat span, they call it. So ito, na adjust to papunta dito. So depende yon kung mahaba yung knee or legs mo. Kung matangkad ka, pwede mo siyang i-adjust papunta dito. Dito yung lever niya sa ilalim para umadjust. At kung nakita mo to, uh, slant siya or bent siya, curve siya kasi it supported your lower lumbar area. Kaya to pinili to kasi mas uh, preferred ko na mesh type siya para mas yung airflow sa likod mo uh, hindi masyado mainit. At I never use uh, uh, leather. Kasi ang leather mainit. Ayoko yung mainit. Gusto ko uh, cotton lang. Except for my car. Kasi yung car ko naman leather. Pero may butas-butas siya. So nag, nag naman siya. Nag, uh, somehow may ventilation. So uh, so this is the note. So as mentioned to you, it goes up and down. So, okay? so it depends on your height, your preferred height. Uh, now I'm sitting now to my chair. If, let me see, uh, how far. So, ito, so kung nakita mo to, dapat may distance yung back 
uh, of your knee cap uh, and the edge of the that seat span dapat at least may two fingers or three finger distance kasi once na uh, hindi wala siyang distance at nakadikit siya sa likod ng uh, tuhod mo or back of your knee uh, it's similar to uh, it's like in first aid that you are trying to put pressure on it and the blood fall, blood circulation will stop so it's similar thing so if you uh, hold your wrist for a few minutes di ba magiging parang pale ang color niya so walang blood circulation so similar thing here pag nagtatouch siya sa likod it means now na nagpo-push nagpo-put pressure siya sa likod na yung blood circulation niya na pe-prevent so when you stand up when you stand up suddenly mafi-feel niyo yung tingling sensation na kuryente na parang namanhid ka parang ganun biglang tumaas yung dugo mo so that is what you're going to experience kapag meron ka pag hindi suitable sa iyo yung chair mo so uh, any questions do you have any question with the chair uh carry ko baka may question sila what, what, what about the the distance of uh, the pc to your body or to your eyes ano ang ang suggested so that, distance so uh meron silang suggested na measurement but i don't agree with it kasi it really depends on the again the physical uh, uh, build or structure and the uh, height and length of your arms so ang easiest way which is na proven ko na rin to na from america the, they supported this ano uh, the, the 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 easiest way or practical way is to when you as mentioned to you position your chair first to the table and that's it so once you position properly your uh, self to the table uh, just stretch nyo lang arm nyo stretch nyo lang arm nyo dapat nandoon siya sa tip ng finger nyo yung distance niya yan yung minimum distance ng monitor sa katawan nyo kasi pag malapit siya kasi hindi kayo nakakakita like for example may malabo mata nyo it's better to use a specs or a reading glass than uh, uh, palapitin nyo yung, yung, ano, yung, yung, yung monitor nyo sa inyo kasi lalong sisirain nyo yung mata nyo. So, yan yung distance, yung proper distancing. So, when you stretch your arms, when you're properly seated, ah, comfortable, properly seated, hindi kayo gagalaw. Stretch nyo yung arm nyo, dapat nasa tip ng finger nyo. And then, as mentioned earlier, yung height ng monitor nyo nasa eye level nyo. Okay? Bakit nasa eye level? Para pag ang ang normal uh, movement ng ar- ang eyes nyo is going downwards. It's easy to read going downwards than going up. When you go up reading, your your uh, neck or your head uh, uh, some, somehow is uh, tilting or may movement kayong paakyat. So, Kapag repetitive kayong nagaganon, it means nando na kayo sa musculoskeletal disorder or yung MSD kasi repetitive task na siya. So as pas- as much as possible yung eyes lang ang nagmo uh, We have a question from Dan uh, Dumpit. Uh, ito, I'll show you on the screen Dan. Paano okay. po if mas malayo ang knee back sa edge ng chair? Ano po ang effect? Yun ang isa pa, nakalimutan ko pa lang i-mention sa inyo. <laughs> Oo, tama, tama, tama. Good question. Kasi now, kapag naman, let's say nandito na yung, uh, upo ako, kunwari. Uh, for example, nakaganyan kayo, malayo, malayo yung ninyo, kasi maliit yung seat span nyo. Ang, ang, ang magiging, ang mangyayari naman dito kasi, ang, ang purpose nito is saluhin yung weight ng katawan mo. Pati to. Now, kung nandito ka na yun, let's say yung weight mo nandito, tas yung legs mo nandun, less, yung weight ng katawan mo is pupunta lang dito sa puwitan mo. Hindi siya talaga madidistribute to your legs itself. So, yung weight mo, yung pressure, more on the weight. It doesn't have a quick... Uh, 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 issue or maybe ma- may mafe-feel kayo but in a long run uh, na nare-repeat nyo yun araw-araw 10 years nyo na ginagawa may mafe-feel na kayong kakaiba na yung sapwitan nyo medyo numb na siya kasi yung katawan nyo uh, naso- nakasupport na lang dito yun lang yung nagsusupport sa weight ng katawan nyo nabibigatan siya so ang ginagawa kasi ng chair na to is to distribute evenly your weight your body weight Okay? 
So that is one of the reason why uh, hindi siya appropriate na nasa unahan kayo or uh, mas mahaba yung need nyo. Mas maganda talaga na yung seats pa nyo is a uh, little bit uh, extended up to the uh, near to your e back of your knee cap. Tan, meron ba tayong standard and requirement by the local and international uh, as far as ergonomics are concerned? Meron. Uh, Doon muna tayo sa local. Muna tayo mm -hmm. local. So, usually, hindi ako masyado nagtitingin sa Dubai eh. Kasi nahihirapan talaga akong mag, uh, uh, look for standards in Dubai. And majority of you uh, knows about OSHAD. So, sa OSHAD, uh, yung uh, code of practice na 5.0 is Occupational Health Screening and Medical Surveillance. Ang responsibility ng employer is to check the HSC and ergonomics from previous employer. So it's one of the requirement. Uh, so it's one on, on, only, the, yun lang yung isa pang requirement. So pin, 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 pinaka requirement ng OSHAD is Code of Practice number 14, which is Manual Handling and Ergonomics. So nandun na yung word na ergonomics talaga. So uh, it's a aggressive work-related musculoskeletal disorder or WRMD, they call it. So meron din tayo syempre international, which is kung pumunta kayo ng o, uh, OSHA or sa HSE. So I think majority of you knows about HASAWA or HSW mm. or HSWA. So it's more likely the uh, Work Act of 1974. Okay, so it provides you that the safety and health of your, uh, my daughter is here. So, uh, may isa pa akong sudyante dito. <laughs> so, uh, so workplace, uh, workplace Act na sinusuportahan yung uh, health and safety ng mga tao sa workplace. And if you go to the deep in the HSE, there are more uh, topics about uh, ergonomics uh, from ergonomics itself and from the manual handling, uh, display screen equipment. So, ang dami. Ang dami niya na naka-relate siya sa ergonomics itself. So, I think you ha you have heard about DSE or display screen equipment. Display, yeah. So, that is that's another uh, version of it, which is more of the uh, visuals uh, screening equipment itself. Tan, we will continue our discussion. Meantime, uh... I'd like to invite our friends for those who are interested to enroll in the health and safety to check out uh, the, this uh, offer from uh, OSHEC. Uh, they're also delivering NEBOS, IGC, IOS, Managing Safely. For more details, you can call Gretchen and Anthony. And uh, don't forget to follow that Attack Pinoy Facebook page. This is an informative page. So for those who are watching tonight, uh, can you do us a big favor? We want to reach out to more people. So please follow the Tatak Pinoy Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tatak Pinoy UAE. So let's continue our discussion here. You're watching Safety Talk with our guest, uh, Ang Malaking Sahod ng Shell, Mr. Jonathan uh, Nicolas. Uh, Tan, um, Sir, sa road transport ba and other industries, uh, ano ba ang importansya ng ergonomics din? Ah, uh, yan. Ito et, kasi, di ba, uh, usually ang focus natin is more on uh, workplace and industrial. So, yung road transport, kasi recently, ako, tala, ako yung naglilid sa, ano namin, sa team namin sa not only MENA region, but EMEA region. So, in road transport, uh, there's a lot of things that we need to consider as well. Yung lahat ng sasakyan, ah, uh, regardless of what quality you have uh, or what brand, lahat yan may vibration. Okay? So yung vibration na yun, uh, siguro one of the topic or you have encountered it that uh, excessive vibration leads to a lot of uh, risk as well, which is one of those risks is, uh, what do you call that one? White finger, something skin that can uh, um, change the color of your uh, skin itself to white, which is the excessive vibration when you're using a jackhammer, for example. So let's go back to the uh, road transport. So meron ako dito sa screen ko, papakita ko lang picture para makita nyo yung uh, sample ng correct and incorrect po posture of the road transport. 
pero more, meron din ng workstation. So, ewan ko lang kung nakikita nyo. Kita ba, sir? Ano? Okay, sir. Yan, nakikita mo yung nasa left side na picture. Yan yung na lower left side. Yan yung correct posture. As mentioned to you uh, in my demonstration, yung backrest, kailangan talagang i-utilize yan. Kailangan mong i-sandal yung katawan mo patalikod para yung backrest, buhatin niya yung katawan mo at ma-distribute evenly yung weight mo sa buttocks mo, sa legs mo. And again, maintain that distance from the back of your knee as well. At make sure, if you if you see, mamaya, I'll demonstrate ko ulit kasi medyo matagal yung demonstration eh. Uh, if you see the the arm, uh, the knee cap, uh, the elbow cap, uh, it's near to the body. So, sir, tandaan nyo pa ba yung mga punishment natin sa mga lola natin tsaka sa mga nanay natin na pag hindi na, may ginawa tayong kalokohan, pinapasquat tayo na may book sa kamay natin? Mm-hmm. Yun. So, similar, ano nasaan mo ba yun? <laughs> Buti hindi. Munggo eh. Munggo yun na naranasan ko eh. <laughs> so, similar thing, mabigat yun, di ba? Nakakangalay. Kasi pag nilagay yung book sa palm mo, tapos pinasquat ka, ng naka, yung kamay mo naka-stretch, similar to hinahawakan niya yung, ano, yung manibela. Nakakangalay yan. Pag in-stretch mo yan, wala yung elbow mo sa katawan mo. Pag nilagay mo yung elbow mo sa tabi ng katawan mo, mas madaling buhatin ang gamit or yung steering wheel. So, similar thing sa lahat ng trabaho, industrial, uh, office, or road transport, kailangan kapag nag, nag, may ginagawa kayong bagay, yung arm nyo or knee, uh, sorry, elbow cap nyo, nandyan sa tabi ng katawan nyo para madali nyo binubuhat yung arms nyo, uh, which is Kapag in-stretch nyo yan at matagal kayo naka-stretch at nakahang yan, mangangalay kayo at yung uh, shoulder nyo ang magkaka-problema. Siguro naranasan nyo, sumasakit ang likod nyo. Bakit kaya sumasakit likod ko? Papamasahin na lang ako. Ganun. Hindi, kasi wrong posture ang ginagawa nyo. Wrong procedure yung mga uh, activities na ginagawa nyo. Even if you're lifting, uh, going to manual handling, if you're lifting your daughter or your son, uh, a small one, uh, one year old, two year old, three year old. Sometimes they just bend their back and lift them up. That is wrong. Gawin yung manual handling na procedure na alam natin, uh, which is magbebend kayo yung knee, yung uh, yung uh, uh, abdomen nyo, yung thighs nyo. Yun na mag proper na magkikeri ng uh, uh, equipment or things or your son or your daughter. Gawin nyo yun proper manual handling. Okay? So, kung nakita mo yan, yung driving na yan, ako yan. <laughs> Kahit ergo assessor ako, pero kasi minsan talaga disiplinado eh. Disiplin ang kailangan, which is yun yung pinaka-challenging. Ang hirap. Kung kayo nag ang hirap tanggalin, di ba, minsan? Uh, which is, in, in, you need to discipline yourself and it takes time, years and months before you can achieve it. Ito, ang hirap din ito. Kapag ako minsan nagda-drive, kailangan ko minsan i-forward yung mukha ko kasi doon ako nasanay. Ang hirap. Uh, aminin nyo man, ganun din kayo, sigurado. So, ito yung proper posturing. Yeah? Yan pala ang tama. Eh. May, may tanong si Dan Michael Dumpit. Uh, I, I'll show it on the screen. Uh, ano po ang pinakamagandang or prefer na light setting ng PC laptop to prevent eye strain? Magandang question din yan. Kasi yung laptop natin, meron uh, uh, option dyan sa settings na may warm tsaka may bright. It really depends. Uh, meron dyan automatic din na nasesense niya yung, kung, magan, kung advanced ng konti yung laptop mo, for example lang, ha, uh, masesense niya yung light ambience ng room mo, temperature, at i-adjust niya automatic. For me, I usually use warm uh, so that yung mata ko ma, ma, ma suitable do sa, sa brightness niya kasi medyo may, medyo ma dilim ng konti yung ano yung aking uh, uh, room. So dim ng konti. So when you use the bright and your room is dim, ang sakit sa mata. Pero kapag nasa maliwanag ka yung uh, lugar, kap- automatic yan magba-bright yan or i-put nyo sa bright kasi kapag warm yan, ang hirap naman tingnan kapag warm. 
So, nag adjust yan depende sa environment ng ano mo, ng office mo. Kapag may nagtanong sa company nyo, paano tayo makaka-save ng light? Kasi yung ceiling lights ang ginagamit natin, kailangan natin maraming ano kasi uh, ilum- uh, illumination, uh, lumino, uh, ano mo tawag doon, yung measurement ng lights, um, luminous, eh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, lux, sorry, lux, lux meter, for example, lux meter nag, nag, uh, nag-measure ng lighting sa, sa office. Ito yung nagawa namin assessment sa, when I was working General Electric. You don't need uh, a really uh, bright lights in the office, like putting so much of lights in the ceiling. It wastes so much of energy. Kung nagtatanong sila ng sustainability, warm light lang, konting lights lang sa ceiling, more than enough na hindi matatapilok yung mga tao, na hindi nila makita yung dadaanan nila. Uh, it's more than enough. So what they can uh, use is, meron silang desk lamp na ginagawa. Desk lamp na naka uh, bright lang siya doon sa desk nyo. Huwag nyo ilalagyan ng ilaw yung monitor nyo kasi uh, it's an ergonomic when there is light reflecting to the monitor. Kung lalagyan nyo lang ilaw yung uh, keyboard nyo, yung mouse nyo, kung may paper kayo dito na binabasa, binabasihan or binabasa, yan lang yung dapat malagyan ng light. And light is, is uh, recently is very cheap now. It's a uh, LED light, very cheap. Ilan lang ang watts nyan? Uh, may, meron dyan, 5 watts lang. Minsan battery operated pa. Uh, which is, will give you sufficient light already. So, sustainable na approach na nakakatipid kayo sa environment. At the same time, compliant kayo sa ergonomic as well. Hmm. Ba- babatiin ko yung mga kaibigan natin nanonood. Max Roldan Morcoso is watching And from Davao City, Jose Sardinia Cabigon III uh, Si Hail Alleluia Kalalo is watching Del Baulos is also watching Maraming salamat and please share the video Para ma- makapag-share din tayo ng knowledge sa mga kasama natin In health and safety And please don't forget to follow the Facebook page of Tatak Pinoy Loud and Proud and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tatak Pinoy UAE. Um, so, Tan, kanina... So, so, sir, uh, so sir, Rick, nabanggit yep. mo kanina yung about the students who are mm. uh, using laptops uh, mm. uh, when uh, doing online studies, online schooling, like my kids uh-huh. as well. Ito yung proper setup ng, work, ng uh, laptop natin, which is, ito, as mentioned to you earlier, any laptop, basta gumamit ka ng laptop, an ergonomic na yan, basta pag wala kang gamit na external equipment. Okay? okay. Ito yan. Automatic yan. Magiging ganyan na itsura mo. Pero, kapag gumamit ka ng external, kahit isa lang, like, uh, dalawa, ang uh, minimum kasi dalawa eh, uh, external keyboard, external mouse, yan lang ang kailangan hmm. mo, as a minimum ma, pero kung gusto mo ng monitor, much better. Katulad ko, meron ako ditong laptop ko, nandito yung monitor ko, uh, keyboard, and mouse. So, hmm. Proper equipment dapat uh, uh, set up. Hindi kailangan ng masyadong expensive material. Pero mm. mga practical materials lang, more than enough. So if you can see from the picture itself, uh, may docking station siya sa laptop niya at in-extend lang niya para to reach the same level of the, uh, his eyes. And meron siyang external uh, keyboard and external mouse to uh, uh, navigate the laptop itself. And she, he never used the keyboard of the laptop itself. Mm. Pero uh, sa, sa palagay mo ba, yung mga estudyante sa school ay merong kakayahan na maglagay ng ganyang equipment? Ah, uh, oo. oo. Ma- kasi mag- <laughs> Ayaw ko, kasi uh, yung parents dapat eh, matutunan eh. Uh, oh. Kasi kung hindi matutunan ng parents, uh, yung magsasuffer yung bata, syempre. Uh, hmm. Dapat kaya nga, as you mentioned, knowledge talaga. Lahat tayo estudyante, kahit ako estudyante, kayo, kahit manager ka, kahit ikaw na yung owner ng company, so janti ka pa rin sa health and safety kasi every time nagchichange siya at merong mga idea at uh, new technology na binibigay na uh, pinipresent na magagamit natin to uh, utilize in our work. So, uh, just want to finish my, ano, my, uh, anong tawag dito? Yung aking, <laughs> aking demonstration. demonstration. Yeah, oh. Taposin ko lang. So, ito yung keyboard, no? Uh, minention ko sa inyo kanina na the smaller the keyboard, kasi, Kung makikita nyo, usually ang keyboard may num- numerical number here. Kita nyo? So, yan, useless yan. Kung ang hindi ang trabaho nyo is not uh, accountant, not finance, useless yan. Kasi 
dito may numbers na yan sa taas, di ba? Bakit ko sinabi na mas magandang mas maliit tong keyboard? Let for example, chop natin tong numeric key na to. Ang 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 idea niyan kasi etong mouse na to lalapit yan dito sa keyboard bale. Kasi the 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 longer the keyboard is, the the farther the mouse is. Yun yung main idea. Pag naka pag ang layo ng mouse nyo, yung try nyo lang yon yung yung arm nyo, stretch nyo sa right nyo. Di ba sabi ko kanina, yung elbow dapat malapit sa katawan. So kapag in-stretch nyo yan, unergonomic na yan. So dapat ito, mas malapit to sa keyboard para yung elbow nyo malapit sa katawan nyo at nabubuhat nyo yung arm nyo. Nabubuhat nyo yung arm nyo ng pag yan ito. Yan, nabubuhat nyo yun ng ganyan. So kung in-stretch nyo yan na nakaganyan, unergonomic na yan. Okay? So... Another one, uh, ito yung trick na lagi kong sinashare sa mga sudyante ko nang nagtuturo uh, ako ng uh, ni Bosch. So, uh, meron tayong uh, uh, reading, uh, uh, like for example, a reference, like a paper. Like for example, this one, a piece of paper. Kailangan kong uh, i-refer to na tinatype ko sa monitor ko. Saan ko ilalagay yung paper? Sa left ba o sa right? or sa ilalim. It really depends eh. Kasi gusto mong malaman yung dominant eye mo. Kasi yung dominant eye mo, iisa yan. Uh, imposible kung dalawa yan. Kung dalawa yan, uh, eh, siguro blessed na blessed ka. <laughs> so ang ibig ko sa dominant eye, yung pinaka uh, eye mo na nakakakita, yung mal malinaw ang kita. So kung, kung itatry mo lang natatakpan mo yung isang mata mo from right na tinitingnan mo siya, malinaw, Yan yung dominant eye mo. So yung left mo, malayo malabo, yan yung hindi dominant eye mo. So how can we uh, identify which one is the dominant eye? So simple trick lang. Uh, pwede nyo gamitin sa bahay nyo. For example, ito yung laruan ng anak ko. So nakita mo yung, 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 yung toy na yan. So mag, mag uh, I will just pinch a hole sa newspaper sa paper for example yung paper na yan na may hole siya for example lang so takpan niyo lang yung isang mata niya buksan niyo yung mata niya na no? di nakikita niyo yung, yung yung toy so kung tatakpan niyo siyang ganyan uh, yung hole for example uh, takpan niyo yung isang mata niya tapos buksan niyo yung isa kung yung toy is nandun pa rin siya sa circle na butas for example yun yung dominant eye niyo so, takpan niyo yung kabila niyong mata, mawawala yung toy sa, uh, sa butas nung ginawa niyo. Or you can use your uh, arm itself, your, your arm. So, kung nakikita mo yan, yung toy na yan, kapag tinakpan ko yung left eye ko, kita ko pa rin yung uh, toy. Pero kung tinakpan ko yung right ko, nawawala siya, parang lumilihis siya. Try nyo lang uh, sa bahay nyo, yung sino yung mga nakikinig. So, isa yan sa, uh, hindi na kayo pupunta sa optical <laughs> para tingnan kung alin yung dominant eye nyo. Yun pa lang ay simple trick para malaman nyo kung dominant eye nyo. Bakit natin kailangan malaman, why do we need to, uh, to identify which, our, which, one, which side of our eye is the dominant eye? Usually, we need to, to put the reference, like for example, this is the reference uh, document that you want to type. You put it on your dominant eye side. Kasi kung ang kapag nilagay mo yan sa non-dominant eye mo, ang magbabasa niyan yung dominant eye mo which is my right eye. So I need to uh, move my head again to your left side so I can see the uh, the reference document. Kung nilagay ko yan dito sa right side which is my dominant eye, halos hindi nagagalaw yung ulo ko kasi yung mata ko kita ko na kagad siya na as reference. Kasi ito yung right side ng mata ko ang magbabasa, hindi yung left side ko. Okay? Good. So, any question with that? <laughs> Sino oh, nag-try? It, does it work? <laughs> yes, oo. Oh, oh, Kuhan talaga. Tamang-tama yung explanation mo. Um, Tingnan natin kung may, may tanong pa ba yung mga kasama natin na uh, wala na ata eh. Um, Tan, ano ba yung nagbanggit ka kanina earlier ng uh, career ng assessor, no? Um, ano ba ang normally, uh, anong mga trainings ang kailangan para maging ergo assessor ang isang tao? So basically, uh, 
in, sometimes the company requires an external uh, training uh, to be an assessor. Uh, similar to my company, um, international na yung company ko, pero uh, hindi nila nire-require ng external, internal lang. As long as you have the someone will assess you. So usually, ang mag-assess sa yon sa aming company, ha, based on my company, is the health manager. Uh, yung health manager namin, uh, parang i-train the trainer ka, i-assess ia- kanya kung uh, capable ka of doing the assessment of uh, ergonomic assessor. My experience is, I just want to share my experience. Uh, when you become an assessor with ergonomics. Ako, I failed five times ha, in my first five uh, assessment na pahiyang-pahiya talaga ako doon sa, sa General Electric yun eh. So, mga big time na yon mga managers, uh, general manager, in ko sila at I failed. And they're not satisfied with it. And they're still complaining about something. And then, I learned every time, every time that I'm assessing something, uh, assessing someone, na, nagla-learn ako. Nagla-learn na nagla-learn, mistake learn, mistake learn, mistake learn, until my sixth time. And moving forward, everything runs smoothly. Hindi <laughs> ko lang alam, pero na, kaya ako na-invite na mag-attend uh, external training nung General Electric ako, dun niya sa Amerika, about the human scale uh, training on ergonomics, industrial and uh, uh, workstation ergonomics. And usually, may, may kasama na siyang checklist na kung ano yung mga i-assess mo. Uh, just to understand the factors that I mentioned to you, ang, ma- ang major factors ay chair, table, keyboard, mouse, monitor, and environment, and habits. Discipline habits. So that is the biggest enemy, yung discipline and habits. Kasi ang habits natin ay uh, sometimes, siguro napapansin nyo, nakaganan yung paa nyo, nakatingkayad kayo habang... Uh, nakaupo kayo sa workstation, yun yung mga habits na kailangan nating disiplinahin sa rin natin. Yun yung pinaka-challenging uh, talaga. Ayan. Sigurado ako, maraming natutunan yung mga nanonood. Kasi ako pati ako, ang dami kong natutunan eh. Um, wala na atang uh, tanong, Tan. Um, ano ba ang uh, last tips na gusto mong i-share for workplace ergonomics? Uh, siguro yung last tip ko na gusto kong i-share sa kanila is uh, learn the basic first. Learn the basic. I can guide you as well. If you want to connect with me, connect with me. Uh, I can give you some slides that uh, can help you. Uh, meron akong mas basic dito na mga uh, ways of uh, how to present. And meron ng checklist din doon. Nasa, nasa office lang eh, kasi work from home ako eh, nasa office yung aking um, mm. uh, uh, memory uh, uh, equipment, something. Pero, eto nga, uh, once you understand the basic, uh, try to ano, uh, do the assessment with someone, like your wife, your son, daughter, or your uh, roommate. Try nyo mula assess, i-practice nyo. At least yun, kung mapahiya kayo, dun lang kayo. Hindi katulad ng ginawa ko, dumaretso ka agad sa management team. So napahiya ako ng sagad, which is I, I, I try to uh, be the best uh, in ergonomic. Though, hindi ako talaga yung pinaka-subject matter expert, but I tried my best. I did miss out this one, uh, Sir Rico, about the slip yeah. disc and also the carpal tunnel syndrome. So many of you maybe knows about it from the manual handling, the slip disc. Mm. So... Slip disc is also part of the ergonomics. Kapag uh, yung manual handling mo, proper posture nyo is mali, usually, uh, ito is, it will burst. Itong kulay uh, gray na yan. It will mm. burst out na tataman yung ligament nyo, which is ito, yung kulay orange. Yung orange na yan, parang ugat na pipisilin niya yan, which is yung flow ng, uh, ng, ng blood, ng oxygen, kung ano man yung nagpo-flow dyan, mabablock which is dyan magsisimula yung slip disc nyo at magiging paralyze kayo kung sakaling mag-worst pa yan. Okay? Yung carpal tunnel syndrome naman is usually underneath your wrist. At nandito siya sa underneath ng wrist. Eh. Ayan, makikit siguro yan. Paano yan na meron dyan buto sa taas tsaka mga uh, ligaments, tendons as well na nagpo-protect yan sa, dun sa carpal tunnel. 
which is nasa ilalim. So, paano natin, paano yan na, na, na nagkakaroon ng carpal tunnel syndrome? Naka-experience na ako na isang taong in ko, may carpal tunnel syndrome siya. Uh, which is, I, I feel uh, uh, sorry for her because hindi talaga siya maka-grasp ng kamay niya, hindi siya makapag-type, yung mouse, nahihirapan siya. So, kung papansin niyo yan, sana makita niyo, yan ang proper posture ng ating risk dapat. Nakita mo yung may tunnel sa ilalim? Kung nakita niyo yung tunnel na yan, yan ang nagpo-protect sa carpal tunnel syndrome natin, which is kapag gumamit na tayo ng mouse, usually ang mouse gagawin niyang flat yan yung risk. Pag flat na yan, yung mouse, di ba, minumove natin lagi yan. <laughs> Kaya ganyan-ganyan tayo. Pag minumove natin yan, na, na, na deteriorate yan at nagiging, nadadamage siya. Pag nadamage yan, yun yung time na magkakaroon ka ng carpal tunnel syndrome. How does it happen? Ito kasi yung mouse natin, the smaller, take note ha, the smaller the mouse, the, 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 the stronger the grip ang kailangan natin. For example, itong aking ano, sa AirPod. Pag ganyang kalit ang mouse nyo, yung grip mo dyan ang lakas ng grip mo. Kasi ang liit eh. Pero the bigger the mouse is, yung isang mouse ko dati sa General Electric, malaki siya. Uh, ganyan siya size. Isang palm ko yan. Isang palm para ma-force yung aking uh, natural curve ng aking risk na tumaas. Gaganon ganon lang ako, nag-glide lang ako. Yan ang mouse ko. Pero ito nga lang mouse ko ngayon sa bahay. <laughs> Cheap mouse. So sometimes it happens to be that if you see here, doesn't have any more gap in between. So kung ginalaw ko yan, every time na ginagalaw ko yan, ginagalaw ko yan, ma, magkakaroon ka ng uh, uh, mawo-worst yung, ano mo, yung under ng wrist mo at yung carpal tunnel syndrome, possibly magkaroon ka. Not now. It will take time, ah, years. It depends on the the uh, capabilities of your body. Sorry, Rick? Yes. Um, Tan. Um, yes. Um, Sorry, you're yeah. done with your uh, demo? Oh. Yes. Yeah, okay. Pasalamatan mo yung mga nanonood sa atin. Oy, thank you very much sa lahat, uh, sa lahat ng organization, especially sa PSSP and ISAF. Uh, I'll see you soon pag nagkaroon uh, ng uh, linaw ang ating COVID-19 uh, dito sa UAE. At sa just in case uh, they have questions, where can they get in touch with you, Tan? Uh, mahirap. Facebook siguro. Kaya hanapin uh -huh. lang, Jonathan Nicolas. Tsaka screenshot niyo yung picture ko. Ayan, makikita niyo yung mukhang yan. <laughs> <laughs> Tan, maraming salamat for joining me tonight. Uh, dapat nagpapahinga ka na eh, pero I disturb you. Oh, Walang problema. And, sir. Uh, we are looking forward to feature you again with another topic here on Safety Talk. Uh, maraming salamat. Anytime. Okay. At uh, ayan, mga kababayan, na, nakasama natin yung... Uh, HSE specialist ng Shell for uh, Dubai, Northern Emirates, at pati na sa uh, Northern Africa, Middle East and Northern Africa regions, uh, Jonathan Nicolas. Maraming salamat for joining me tonight. We'll see you again next Saturday. And uh, don't forget to follow the Tatak Pinoy Facebook page. At para sa mga gustong kumuha ng safety, check out the offer of OSHEC. Uh, Huwag kalimutan mga kapatid, uh, follow the Tatak Pinoy Facebook page uh, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, yan. Um, thank you for watching and uh, don't forget uh, this uh, weekend Friday, Rick in the morning with more prices.